I became interested in sports at an early age, watching my brother. I used to go to his AAU games, junior high games, high school games, and I was just, I really want to play basketball. I was like, Dad, please sign me up for parts. And he was like, okay, okay, baby girl, as soon as I get some time. I mainly played against my cousins, my brother, my brother's like four years older than me, so I played against my cousins for the most part. I really did enjoy playing parts. I made the all-star team every year, and I really enjoyed that, the traveling. And I was like, yeah, I, I definitely want to, this is something I definitely want to do. For me, my, my role models definitely would be two for me. My brother, of course, I grew up watching him the whole time, and as I got more comfortable with playing the game of basketball, I wanted to watch professional professional basketball players, and my favorite player was Allen Iverson. That's why I wore the number three. He really had a great impact on me. He was small, just like me, but he went hard, he played hard, and I wanted to be just like that. I was fortunate enough to be honored with those great awards. None of that definitely wouldn't have been possible if I wasn't surrounded by a great group of girls. Everybody around me was talented. And of course, I was talented as well, but everybody around me was talented. It was, it was real easy to get a good flow going, and it was just great. I couldn't have asked for better teammates at a better time. As a freshman, I was very anxious. I was ready to, I was very motivated. I was ready to prove my point that I can play with y'all, I can help y'all, I can be an asset to y'all. Um, one memorable moment, the Marksville tournament, she rented out cabins for everybody. It was called our team bonding. And I really think we grew as a team and grew as people, just bonding together and having those moments. I really enjoyed that. And another memorable moment, of course, was when I scored a thousand points, my thousand point and they just stopped the game and awarded me and I was, I, did, I didn't know at all though, until they stopped it and I'm like, what's going on? And then that's when I was like, oh, okay. And <laughs> it was very exciting. It was when we went 30 and one. That was a really great year for us. I really thought we was going all the way. I really thought we was winning it all that year. I was so excited. And then the second round, or maybe third, I really can't remember. I was really mad. <laughs> Well, we lost against St. Thomas More, and it was a buzzer beater right at the end. Very devastating. But besides that, that was everything about it was great. Midway through the season, probably like right before district, I definitely sustained a career-ending injury, and I was devastated. I wanted a little time because I was gonna, I was gonna um, commit the first semester, but I was like, I'm just gonna give it time, and I'm gonna wait the second semester. I think about that all the time. I was like, I should have just committed the first semester. <laughs> I still continue to move on and try to be the best teammate I could in those moments, just to try to help my team get as far as possible because they, of course, were upset that I got hurt as well. I just try to be the best teammate I could be. So once I got hurt, I was like, nobody's gonna want me or anything. I was really, really sad about it. So they gave me all the type of motivation to rehab. A few months later after that, I get a call from Northwestern. I was very thankful for that opportunity. I'm like, hey, they want to take a chance on me. I'm going to show them. I'm going to get there, work hard, and be the best player I can be to show them that I'm not taking this for granted. My first year, though, I had the red shirt. I wasn't fully, I wasn't fully healed yet, so I definitely was upset about that. But I needed that one whole year to heal or during the off season, just whenever I could, just to get back, just to get my body back to the point that I needed to be in the best shape that I needed to be in. Everything about it was great. A lot of people were like, oh, nothing's out there, but I definitely liked it. And I really had great success there as well. Once I got comfortable with the new coaches, they gained some trust in me because the old coach was the one that recruited me. They gained trust in me. I scored a thousand points there. That was that was great, of course. They stopped the game too. <laughs> they stopped the game as well. Gave me my um, award. Well, the coaches that came there, they turned the program around immediately. We was very fortunate to make it to the Southland Conference tournament and the NCAA tournament as well, back to back. And we very we we that was very exciting. I would do that all over again if I could. The back-to-back -back conference tournaments, back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournaments, 
Playing on that big stage was very exciting. The first year we went to Knoxville, Tennessee. They have an amazing facility at, in Tennessee. It's like we were treated like royalty. We never experienced that. We flew on the plane by ourselves. We got there, they had food, smoothies, whatever you can think of. It was just, it was just everything. That was our first year. The second year, we went to Baylor. We had already played them, so that one wasn't really exciting as the Knoxville one. We had we didn't play an SEC team like that. But the the Baylor, the Baylor was a great experience. I mean, it was Kim Mulkey. It was just great just to play around those people and just that everybody talks about and on TV and stuff like that. And everybody was, hey, I watched you play on TV. Everybody was watching the game, tuned in with the game. To be selected is most definitely an amazing feeling and an honor for real because since I had my injury, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think this would be possible. I know I accomplished some great things, but I just feel like that was the last thing people remember. So I definitely didn't think I would get, I definitely didn't think I would get selected, but I'm very thankful and very happy about it. And I feel like all my hard work paid off. It means a lot to be in the same class as Tasman and Katrina because I know they definitely were great players. They accomplished great things. And just to be in the same category as them just makes me feel really great. I would like to thank the selection committee, of course, for selecting me. Wouldn't be possible without you guys. I also would like to thank Jarvis for even nominating me as a candidate. And I would also like to thank my brother, of course, from all the late night workouts, early morning workouts. Just want to say thank you for helping me throughout the way, teaching me, guiding me to become the best player I can be. And I would also like to thank my mom for always being there whenever she could. She didn't miss a beat with the games at all. She was at every game, except for the away games in college sometimes. That was tough, but other than that, she was listening though on the radio. <laughs> But I definitely would like to thank her for everything and all the sacrifices she made it just for, just so I can play the game of basketball and be the person I am today.